it's the Kawasaki RS007 here with uh, Danny Hampton, That's Kawasaki right. Robotics. Dan. About to start. Sorry, Dan Hampton. Dan Hampton. He's a professional now. 007. So we're going to start up uh, our Kawasaki robot by hitting this contactor here. Make sure you use a beefy transformer. If you're plugging it into 120. If you're plugging it into 120, 230 is preferred. So here's the robot in its package position. Thanks, Cody. Right in the Cody. Van, store van position. Yeah, no van. <laughs> Kawasaki robots, simple and friendly. All right, I think let's go vertical for this guy so you can see the whole thing. Thanks. Two hands on the controller at all times. <laughs> Not dead, man. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're going to bring it out of uh, its position now. So by doing that, we're gonna make sure everything is in teach mode. So we're gonna look at the uh, switch right here. It should be in teach not in repeats, and then your switch up here, also in teach, not repeat. Once that is done, you have the dead man switch on the back, of course. You pull that single push, and then we have our, uh, our run, motor, and cycle. So right now, our, our robot is ready to run, but we need to enable the motor. So if I hold this alpha key for the blue button on top, I'll hit motor on, and then we see that the robot is engaged. So that's good, and from here, there it is. light on is good. And we can change our move type by hitting this interpolate button. We can change from tool to joint to base. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the joint, and hopefully I'm going the right direction with the shoulder, and I am. Now let's do the same thing for the elbow. Nope, wrong way. <laughs> Similarity. Yeah, a little deviation there, so let's go the other way with, and then I need to re-enable my motor. And then let's go the right way this time. There it goes. Now we're moving up. And then I can move my arm back this way. From here, it's just a standard joint move. Moving all the way around. Now we are in a safe position. So let's go ahead and load a program. So to load a program, I can hit this button up here or I can press this program button down here. So I'm just going to use a touch screen because it's easier right now. And I'll go into program. And then I choose my directory. Once it's selected, I hit enter right here. And then I can choose my program. So we're going to go to demo. Select that. And now we need to run the program. So we're going to switch modes from teach mode to repeat mode. And so I'm going to do that up here and down here as well. So once both of those are in the correct setting, you'll see repeat mode here. And then from here, we can go ahead and run the program. So right now at the top, you'll see we're in run mode, but the motors aren't enabled. So I'm going to enable the motors. Now if the motors are enabled, the last step is to hit this cycle button, which is located right here. It's another alpha. So I hit hold this A and hit cycle. Now the robot will run through the routine. There's Nick's extra step. <laughs> Unnecessary step. Mm. So I'm gonna hit hold, and that will stop the program. The button right here, no uh, A needed. And finally, just a couple of things to add, uh, add commands. If I wanna add a command, all I have to do is move the robot into the correct position, make sure my uh, setting up there is correct. I can change that by hitting interpolate. And then once I have that, I can just hit record and it will add another command right after line seven once I'm in teach mode. Must be in teach mode to do these commands. So back there and record. Record new program step at last program step. Yes. Oh, I need to actually choose the right step. Bottom. Okay. Now I can hit record. And step eight is recorded. I can keep hitting that. You'll see they keep adding these steps according to these settings at the top. You have your speed, acceleration, timer, and tool. Those will all modify these up here for your current line setting. This is what would be placed in where your new line is. That should be enough to get started, right? All right. I think so. A little five minutes.